I guess the big part I learned was our students needed incentives. It isn't just enough incentive for them to do well themselves, um, especially on the pause. Um, so once we've made an incentive and we saw great gains in almost every kid, so we could establish it being a small as a can of pop to as large as going down to Elitch's. Um, to me, it's, it's what we can motivate each student, and, that, and that's the part we're learning. At the beginning, we had students basically at the 40%, and when we had them take the, that next year with the incentives, went up to over 65%, which made us AYP in all subject areas. One of my best examples, and again, we use MAP, and I had a sophomore boy take it in the fall, and he was in what we call Tier 3, which means he needs some serious interventions. We put an incentive in, such as the teacher put in, that if you're proficient or above, you would get an iPad or iPod. When that kid took the test, he went from tier three to advance, just because of the incentive. It wasn't because of, I'm sure there was some education done, but that was from, from September to December, and you're not gonna make that great a growth in a student. So then we didn't have the big incentive in the spring, he went back down to tier three. The student lounge is a place where students can go and uh, study, they can go and relax, they can go and play some games, have a good time. Uh, the kicker is they have to earn the right to get in there. Uh, in our case, we, we attach that incentive to pause performance. If students bank their pause scores, they were eligible to get into the lounge. Once they got into the lounge throughout the year, they had to maintain high GPA and no discipline referrals and things like that to keep that eligibility. I'll just use our senior class as an example. When they were juniors, they took the pause score without an incentive and did really well on it. And then the state came back and said, sorry guys, that doesn't count. And they had to retake it um, as juniors going into their senior year. And they had to do just as well as they did the year before. And we, we gave them that incentive and they, they did achieve that. So they basically banked the pause twice to get in there our senior class did. They not only banked it, but they were 100% proficient or advanced in every category. We think kids will do it because it's in themselves. Not all kids have that. We probably have, probably in every school, it's probably 30% that is gonna give their best effort no matter what. The others is, why? Why do I need to do well? They need an incentive these days, I'm sorry. That's just how the makeup of these kids are. And and I think we've proved it in our school.